snow is moving out, but the cold is still here, and that wind. That wind is pretty brutal. It's it's it's. Is this like interpreted yeah. dancing? We're just trying to get it going. You know, it's very windy out there, yeah. and it's one of those things where if you're going to be out this evening, you want to cover as much skin as possible right. because the more skin you have exposed, the harsher it feels. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind if you have any plans to be out, but if you don't have to go out, it might be a good uh, hot chocolate and fireplace kind of evening. All this quiet right now on campus, but yeah, you'll see how we're seeing some more breaks in the clouds and more clearing. Now we'll see some clouds move in from time to time tonight, but with some of this clearing take place, that will allow us to cool off a little bit more. We've dropped one degree in the past 20 minutes, now down to 19 on campus. Most of us still in the low 20s, but these numbers are set to fall into the mid-teens. Some spots may even be close to single digits. Regardless of the air temperature, it's really the wind chill that we care about, right? With that gusty wind coming in out of the west, we've got wind chills in single digits. These numbers will stay in single digits overnight tonight. Even though the winds should relax a little bit, we're still going to have wind chills in the lower single digits at times here tonight. The actual air temperature should drop to near 15, maybe a little bit lower in some spots. But again, it's that wind chill that we really care about. Good news, though, is some relief is on the way. Low 30s Saturday comes Sunday and most of next week we're in the 40s. The trade off there, though, better chance for some rain, maybe a bit of a wintry mix later on Wednesday. Uh, the snow that we've been seeing here today, just at lake effect bands coming in from the west, kind of tapering down for us, but still going out on the west side of the state. But we'll keep a close eye on this. Not going to rule out a couple of flakes to fly this evening or again tomorrow. But really, no big storms are expected here in the near term. The last one that we dealt with right now well off to the east. And by the way, kind of a neat thing to see here. Not only do we get lake effect, but take a look. It's extending down into uh, the Appalachians. We've got a lot of it over on the eastern seaboard. So lake effect really having a big factor on a lot of folks, including us. But for us, eh, there might be a couple of flakes that fly here tonight. You'll see it here on future track overnight into tomorrow. The big story is still the wind and the cold, but just like today, there might be a stray flurry or two. Not much. Most of us stay dry, but there might be a flake or two that flies as we head into your Saturday. We're looking for well, should be a fairly quiet day. Some models are hinting that there could be a flake uh, flying later in the day, especially in the evening. But I think a lot of us will end up staying dry this weekend. For tonight, keep that chance in there for a couple of stray flurries. Not much, but maybe a couple. A cold night, middle teens, but with the wind, Again, still could be gusting near 20 miles per hour. Got wind chills in single digits overnight tonight. We top out in the mid 20s tomorrow, another below normal day. But the wind's not going to be as strong as they were today. Still a breezy day with winds to 15, gusting to 20 or 25. So we will still have wind chills in the teens, maybe single digits. Another cold day to get through. But the, we the weekend does have some relief, right? Mid 40s on Sunday. Lots of 40s early next week with a good chance for some rain. Maybe a wintry mix there on Wednesday of next week. A big change yeah. on the way after a couple of snowy and cold days here. The weekend will shift those winds and okay. change the pattern. So we're looking forward to it. It'll feel nice. Yeah. Brett, thank you.